In labs, perfume is created using synthesized chemicals and real scent extractions. Every individual smell is created using different elements and components. Perfume is unique because it takes a perfume chemist to combine the perfect amounts of substances to create the perfect perfume for a certain company. Only the perfume chemist creating the perfume knows the exact composition of the perfume so that a copycat perfume cannot be made. So what is perfume? Perfume is a fragrant liquid typically made from essential oils extracted from flowers and spices used to impart a pleasant smell to one's body or clothes. Why do perfume molecules smell and molecules such as water don't? Let's take a look at water, which doesn't have a strong smell. Water has two covalent bonds with hydrogen. Then, when two water molecules are next to each other, they form strong hydrogen bonds. If we had a cup of water, all of those water molecules would stay attracted to each other and stay where they are in a liquid. Alcohol is a main component in the making of perfume because it is e easily dispersed into the air. Its Lewis structure looks like this. When two alcohol molecules are by each other, they do not care about being close because they don't have strong bonds. Therefore, in a cup, the molecules would be disposed into the air so we can smell perfume. Alcohol, water, and a special scent are the main components. The scent could be a floral, musk, fruity, or any other kind of scent that is possible to be extracted or created. The main components of perfume are perfume oil and alcohol and water. Perfume oil can be broken down into two different types, a synthetic oil or a fragrance taken from a specific source through methods such as headspace. Headspace directly vacuums the smell from an object and gets a printout of its chemical equation to recreate the smell. Oils can be extracted from flowers, plants, animals, and others. The oils have three parts, the top note, the heart note, and the base note. The top note is what you smell immediately. The heart note is what you smell three to four hours after applying and evaporates slowly. The base note sticks easily to the skin and can stay for up to eight hours. Name brand perfume companies such as Giorgio Armani or Coco Chanel don't even know the exact chemical composition of their perfume. Oh look, there's me. <laughs> Hi guys. Anyways, the reason some of these companies' perfume is so expensive is the drastic measures they have to take to get a hold of some of their ingredients. Balmain Ombre Grease is another name brand perfume company, uses whale vomit as part of their ingredients for some of their perfumes. Also, Coco Chanel uses civet musk, which is civet cat anal glands. Also, the Body Shop White Musk uses Asian musk deer glands. Marc Jacobs uses driftwood, and Beyonce Heat uses sequoia. Yes, the tree. There are also many different types of alcohol that can be used. Ethyl alcohol is most commonly used because it helps the fragrance spread out. Distilled water is also used to spread out the smell of the fragrance. Dilution is much needed in a perfume for it to be appealing. Without dilution, it would be like hearing an orchestra play all of its instruments at the same time in their own way, which would be chaos. There are different strengths of perfume based on how much dilution is added. Perfume, the most concentrated perfume you can buy, is 15-25% to 25 perfume oil, and cologne is the least concentrated perfume, and is about 10% perfume oil. Chemistry is not only involved in the way that it's made, but it's also involved in the way that you perceive it. How a perfume smells is not only what it comes from, but also how a person is chemically wired. If everyone smelled the same way and had the same favorite smells, then everyone would also have the same favorite perfume. Depending on your genetic code, you could have different smell receptors, which cause a smell to be different to you than someone else. Chemistry is also involved when chemical reactions caused by light also morph the smell of perfume. This is because the energy and light can break the bonds in fragrance molecules. Bright sunlight can destroy your perfume within a week. Air can also corrode fragrance by oxidation, which is the same process that turns uncorked wine into vinegar. With this being said, the best place to keep your perfume is in a dark room at room temperature in a spray bottle. You can find out more about the chemistry of perfume on chemistryislife.com.